Everyone's welcome to try, but if you're a beginner, I do not recommend you trying to sing a melodic minor scale. Hello my fellow musician friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to teach you how to sing a melodic minor scale. Now as I mentioned this scale is typically not for beginners because it is very challenging. And one of the reasons it's so challenging is because how you ascend in the scale as you go up in pitch is not the same way when you descend or come down in pitch. And if that doesn't make sense to you yet, don't worry, I'm going to break it all down for you in this video. To help you understand this, I'm going to give you a visual of how to sing the scale, but I'm going to give it to you in two different ways, because some singers, as you might know, are more familiar with the piano. And if you're a singer that knows his or her way around the piano, then I'm going to show you that way that you can kind of visualize it on a piano so you can play along. And then there's those singers who really don't know the piano or any other instrument other than their voice, but they know how to sight read. So I'm going to show those kind of singers how to sing it in using solfege, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So first, let's go right into how to sing it if you understand the piano. Okay, now I'm going to play the melodic minor scale, and I'm going to explain it first, do it slow, and then I'll keep playing it a few other times so you can practice and get into the habit of how it sounds. So unlike the major scale and the natural minor, this isn't going to be all white keys. So we're still going to start on La, and we're going to, our target goal at the top is the octave La. But the sixth and the seventh scale degree is going to be raised, so it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to eight. And on the way down, they aren't raised. It's naturalized, so this is how it sounds quicker. play it a little quicker. So if that sounds strange, it should if you haven't ever heard that before. It's definitely a unique scale because on the way up, Fa becomes Fi and Sol becomes Si. But after you sing La and on the way down, you're going to sing them as they normally are, which is Sol and Fa. So let's try this slow. Start on La. La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fi, Si, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it an octave up. So it's a little bit more pure sounding in the actual range that it's in, the register. And it's La, Ti, Do, Re, Here's a couple times I'm going to play it through so you can practice and sing along with it. I'm not going to sing this time. Here you go, nice and slow, ready, and... Probably still having trouble if it's the first time you're doing it, so let me slow it down a little more. I'm going to hesitate before I hit the sixth and the seventh scale degree. So before you sing Fi and C, I'm going to slow down. Okay, here we go. Ready and. Think about that. Hit it. Think about the next one. Hit it. Then complete the La. Tough one. Whole step. Whole step. Keep going. So for those of you who still might need extra help that don't know the piano so well, I'm going to now show you visually how you can do it with solfege. What makes the melodic minor scale so unique is that instead of starting on Do when we do solfege, we're going to start on La. And 
we go from low la to high la and then have to go back down to la again. That's the low one. Because on the way up, as we've discussed, you're going to raise the sixth and the seventh scale degree a half step. So fa is going to become fi and so is going to become si on the way up. On the way down, you're going to say so and fa as you normally would when you're singing the solfege scale. So pay very close attention to that movement from fi to si on the way up, and then that whole step movement from la to sol, and then sol to fa on the way down. So now that you understand it on piano, and you also understand it with solfege, let's try singing along with it here with the solfege. Okay, singers, there you have it. That's how you sing a melodic minor scale. I gave you a couple different visuals and I hope that that helped. Now, if you're still having trouble, not to worry. That is pretty normal. Like I said, it's challenging. It takes a while for the ear to kind of get used to how it's supposed to sound and knowing those half steps and whole step jumps. So my advice is to keep practicing it. Do it slowly. If you do know how to play the piano as a singer, I would literally play it note for note Get it into your head, see it, hear it, and keep repeating it. And eventually you'll be able to know without playing the piano how it sounds like first in your head, and then you can sing it. And if you're better or more used to using solfege, then that's fine too. Maybe even have the piece of paper with you in front of you, write out the solfege and the notes, sight read it and just keep on practicing until it becomes easier. And last but not least, you always have this video to just keep on rewinding the parts that have the scale that you can practice along with. Singers, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and never miss a weekly video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you all next week.